Hi, I'd just like to go over the basic steps in making a recording of a PowerPoint presentation using Camtasia. You'll see now we're in PowerPoint and uh, probably good advice to have a uh, standard set of slides that might be branded uh, and also maybe a place if you want your head to show on the slides you may want what's called your headshot just a little spot on the slide where you want to put your headshot later on if you want to show your head on the recording uh, this is a bunch of standard slides I'm suggesting there would be an opening slide that might be what it might look like um, here's um, your second slide maybe or a, st a standard bullet point slide and remember stick to uh, what's recommended in PowerPoint is not too many bullet points and don't write much in each bullet point. Remember, a, a PowerPoint presentation that can be used without the person talking is not a good PowerPoint presentation. It's really meant to be used with somebody talking. Now, on, on this slide as well, you might put on images. It's a good thing to put on images on your slides. Okay, so you get rid of that box and put on an image. And if you want your headshot to show, it might be as well to put a box on it to say, I'm going to put my headshot on that later when this uh, is edited. Uh, remember, this is just about recording. We'll, edit, we'll do editing later. Okay. Um, okay, if you don't want the headshot on that, maybe take that off. Okay, now if you were, say, wanted a video clip, you had some video clip from somewhere that you wanted to put into a video later, you could put in a slide there, video clip, and uh, you later on the editor, yourself or somebody else, might take that out and put in the video clip. Otherwise, plenty of you will be doing recordings without any video clips. Just don't put in a slide like that at all. Okay, uh, animations are a bit like videos as well. well uh, produced by animators and, and turned into videos. They look very well. You could get one of those commissioned and insert it in here as well. And then you might have your last slide that might look something like this. I'd recommend you put your headshot on the last slide, if not on some slides in between, uh, and put in images if you like. Okay, so let's see about it. So we're back at the start of it here, and we want to make a recording of this. But just pretend this is our presentation, okay? Now, if you have Camtasia Studio installed on your machine and you have said yes to installing the, the PowerPoint add-ins, you'll see over here in add-ins, you will see some Camtasia Studio items here. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to check to make sure that my camera is picking me up. I hope it is. There's every chance it isn't because uh, I'm recording using... A panopto at the moment so it might be hugging the camera so let's see a camera preview yeah it's picking me up okay that's fine so it's going to we're going to record the camera as well as what's happening on our screen as well as our audio okay so we're ready to go I'm going to give a really short presentation okay and let's see how this goes so record Okay, we're not recording yet. You'll see down in the bottom right-hand corner, it's checking my audio, and it seems to be picking up my audio fine. And here we would click this when we're ready to begin recording. And it's probably a good idea when you click to begin recording to give it a few seconds, no harm for a few seconds of silence uh, uh, at the start of a recording. It can be useful for editing, and it can be useful to make sure you don't chop off your audio at the start. So let's begin. Okay, I'd like to welcome you today to this wonderful presentation, uh, and it's about, enter name of, of title slide here, so it's about whatever we're talking about today, and we might say a little bit more about what we're talking about today. Um, uh, okay, let's go on to our first slide, and our first slide we're talking about such and such. By the way, it probably is a good idea to have animation and I don't have any animation on this so that those lines come in one at a time. Remember, uh, if you've got a lot written on a slide that tends to distract the people from what you're talking about. So it's often a good idea to use the animation on your slides so it comes in one at a line at a time, they see the latest line you're talking about and they concentrate on that. Okay, you might have an image on your page here and maybe your head talking down in the corner. That will be added later when it comes to editing this video. Okay, 
uh, there's going to be a video clip inserted here so whatever I'm saying now is going to be taken out and this is going to be taken out that's if you want that don't include this if you don't want it and the same goes for animation videos as well okay and then you eventually get to the last slide where you say thank you okay and it's at this point that as soon as we click on here it's going to ask us do we want to finish the recording so click and we do want to stop the recording and that's the recording made now it wants us to save that recording now that was very quick and usually it's best to make these recordings in about you know anything between 7 and 15 minutes long I think somebody said an, op an optimum is actually around 10 it might even be shorter and so you might make two or three of them I mean if you've gone to the trouble to do and it's so quick to do it you might take two or th make two or three of them so we might give this a number um, or recording on something or other uh, I just call it recording three and you might have four and five or something like that and we might save that somewhere probably in a folder where you know where to get it but I'm going to just save it on my desktop for the moment so that's saved now that is what's called a raw file by the way that's a camrec file and it uh, saves it uh, where it saves it and it keeps the video track and the screen capture that's the the image of the screen that's been changing it's like it keeps two video tracks one of your headshot and one of the screen and the audio all separate so that can be edited later now if you've got if you're lucky enough to have an editor someplace somebody who's editing this you can just cancel out now and get the camera file uh, that you saved in a, a folder somewhere and send it to your video editor or you can edit this yourself okay and I'll just go quickly through really quickly through the editing we would hit OK here what it's going to do is going to fire up the Camtasia studio editor um, it should come up now here and there it's fired it up so there's you can the first thing it asks you here is do you want to change the dimensions of your video and it's very useful to be able to put these videos on YouTube or something so maybe not go for too big a dimensions it makes it easier for the you know makes it a bit smaller and better for people who have to download when they don't have very high resolution okay we could hit okay here so now there you'll see that you have your three, three tracks there you've got your uh, system audio your screen and your camera let's have a look at what it looks okay so it's looking good the audio sounds good I don't know how it sounds for you in a recording but it certainly sounds good for me here and what we need to do that's not a good place for the headshot so we need to take that headshot maybe and move it down to the corner maybe resize it so that'll be there for the whole video okay and um, that's continuing now. let's bring that back to the start again see how it starts let's jump to the end now uh, I didn't intend on doing this but now that I'm here I may as well show you how this is finished off if you really want to do a polished editing you give it to an editor but it's that simple we can now just uh, go to the file menu and then produce and share okay this is asking us some questions an mp4 video there are other formats I'd stick with the standard formats mp4 is probably the best go next oh what do you want to call this this final file and uh, we'll call it just if I put test on it I know I can delete it later uh, where do you want to put it into a folder somewhere so 
will pick a folder. Um, I don't know if I have any for Camtasia, but actually, to be honest with you, I don't want to keep this. I, I'm going to just stick it on my desktop if I can get it. Okay, I'll stick it on my desktop. Okay, test one, two, three. And I'm just going to save that and then just finish here and it will start producing it. It's what's called rendering. What it's doing is it's taking those three tracks and it's uh, uh, it's taking those three tracks and it's mixing them together as specified. And remember, by the way, that program looked quite powerful. You could cut and paste, you could chop bits out, you could add other videos in, you can add other tracks, you can even add more audio tracks on top of it later. So you can, it's quite a sophisticated one, but what we're looking at here is we're trying to get something very simple done. Uh, so we didn't add much more than that. And uh, uh, maybe I should uh, keep talking for a few more seconds because it looks like we're at 60, 70% and going pretty smoothly and we should be done shortly. I could pause my recording here for a second and come back now when we're just finishing up. Okay, and what that done is it's uh, put all that on the desktop. It has a few other files as well. We'll just finish that and I'm going to show you what that's created. It's actually created uh, a web a folder and a web page for playing it and uh, if we play it okay, here it is playing there but we can get rid of that and what I'll show you is that is a folder that contains quite a few files basically this is for embedding it on a website so it gives you all the tools to embed in a website I'm not particularly interested in talking about that now so what I want to do now is I want to find the folder that uh, it stored everything in and it should be on my desktop somewhere called test123 and I can't actually find it. Oh, here it is. Got it. Just give me a second. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's the folder test one, two, three. All, everything you need is in there for embedding it on a website. But in actual fact, it's that is the MP4 video there. Um, so that if you want to upload that, say, into YouTube or into Vimeo uh, or onto some server, that's the file that you would look for. Let's just fire it up and see how it looks. Okay, there it is there. That's been played, I think, in Windows Media Players. Okay, and I think that's more or less illustrated the point. It's been a pleasure to talk to you today to demonstrate this, and I hope you find that useful. Bye now.